Welcome back to Sonic Robo Blast 2. We left off at Techno Hill 2. This level got a massive makeover in 2.1. It used to be a lot shorter. Now it's a lot longer. Well, relatively speaking. Speedrunning wise, it's only a little bit longer. But in general, the level is a lot larger than it used to be. There is an emerald token in this stage. There is just one, though, as far as I'm aware. There used to be two in this level, and now there's only one, so... Yeah. Another thing with SRB2 is that it's actually very, um, customizable in terms of controls as well. You could set different buttons to do different things. You can use keyboard, keyboard, mouse, controller. It's quite customizable, so... You can definitely find something that's comfortable for you. This is the split for the original Techno Hill 2. Techno Hill 2 used to begin not far behind here. This is the turret area, this is a crusher area. So, for those that have memories of the old SRB2, this is a little bit of a nostalgia trip. Slightly so. And I made a grave mistake. Oh well. So I lost a shield, big deal. I can just get the opportunity to, do, to show you another secret if I can. Actually, I don't even know if I can jump high enough for that. Yeah, I need that robot, probably. Alright, so, you get past here. Here's one of the emblems. Extra life as well. You just need to have enough height to go down. Tails has the easiest time getting this emblem. Another feature of S um, 2.1 is that any character can get any emblem. I believe 2.0 was the last version to have character-specific emblems, which... Obviously, in the main game, they don't exist anymore like that. So, yeah. That means any character can get any emblem, including the main emblem of the level. Those bomb things are called Detons, and they explode when they hit you, causing various bad things to happen, like losing your rings, or maybe losing your life if you don't have any rings. Quite sad, right? Alright, the animal token is in this area. It's just beyond here. So, I'll see if I can demonstrate how to get that as Sonic. I don't usually go for this emerald token. It's a bit of a time waster. I don't know what happened there. <laughs> Sonic didn't want to, like, stay still. Alright, so you have to use this spring, right? This spring gives you enough height. You also need to, like, guide yourself down here and get try to get the emerald token. I missed, so I have to try again. If push comes to shove, I won't get it, but that's roughly what you have to do to get it. There are many other emerald tokens in the game, so if, you ha if you're really struggling with this one, you don't have to get it. You can always get a different one. There are plenty of emerald tokens in the game. I aim very poorly there. I should certainly mention that I'm playing with a controller. I I used to play this game with keyboard and I was terrible at it. So it, that was pretty much the main reason why I haven't felt, I haven't played through this game before. Is that I was playing with keyboard and I was terrible at it. Anyway, that was the last the, that was the last attempt I'm gonna make on that because I don't actually have to get that emerald token at all. So I just figured I'd demonstrate how roughly to get it. And I did that, so I'm good. As Sonic, I have to lose the shield right here because I have to hit the switch that's under the slime. And I have to use this to get enough height. 
so the slime rises and I can get up here. I suppose I'll go over there and demonstrate another emblem. Another emblem is in this area here. You have to start with this guy and you have to get yourself all the way up. You can just do this as Tails, it's a lot easier as Tails. Of course, if you happen to destroy this first guy, you can't get up there at all. So I don't actually remember if he goes in the hole or not. I don't think it's entirely likely. Trying to get this guy to cooperate is hard. But yeah, if you get all the way up there, you get an emblem. Um, Tails has the easiest time with that because he can just fly up. So I suggest doing that with Tails. A lot of things are just simply easier as Tails in this game. Sonic he generally has a difficult time with a lot of things. So, Tails is your go to character a lot of the time. But yeah, this, em this this particular level is massive, isn't it? It even has an elevator. There are two ways I can approach doing this. I can just keep going on the side here. I'd rather not lose my rings. Or you could try and jump across. Whatever. That life's a little hard to get. Not very hard, but a little hard. Kind of afraid to lose your rings, you know? That sort of thing. So anyway, this is the Techno Hill boss. For those that remember the Techno Hill boss, you'll see an immediate change in the arena. The arena is now enclosed. It used to be open before. One of the changes of 2.1 is that there are no bottomless pits until Deep Sea 2, which is the third zone, which is the next zone, of course. Um, there used to be the ability to fall into a bottomless pit here. This area was open before. And I believe it was the first bottomless pit in the game, but not anymore. So anyway, this is the third zone, Deep Sea. Deep Sea remains largely unchanged from 2.0 to 2.1. Um, a lot of the things you remember will probably still be here. There are some small differences. Some improvements, I should definitely say. But, some small changes nonetheless. There's also one Emerald Token here. I'll try and get it as Sonic. It's kind of difficult, but I'll try and get it. It's difficult, but it's certainly easier with the shield. If I can manage it. As Sonic, um, if you don't have the shield, you have to go a different way specifically to get this emerald. But if you have the shield, uh, you can bypass that. I think, anyway. Yeah, there's a spring here. And there you go. That V up there marks the end of another pathway that would just make it easier for Sonic to get this. But if you have the Twister Shield, you can not do that. No worries. I think I was supposed to go up there. Uh... Oh, I can just go around. Okay. I thought there was something here. Maybe down one? Yeah. Extra life in here. If you want to get back up to the main path, you just use that spring. There you go. Again, Tails has a very easy time getting that. I think Knuckles can climb those as well. I'm not- I wouldn't be quoted on that though. Yeah. 
Oh yeah, did I mention drowning is still a thing? Yeah, it is. Drowning is still definitely a thing. It's very important to get air. There's a lot of air in this game, so it's no big deal. No worries a lot of the time. I probably should wait. Almost got crushed. Rip Tails. Tails got crushed. Now, remember what I said about character-specific emblems before? Yeah, any character can get most of the emblems, but that's not the case always. This act is one good example of... ...that. I'll explain it a little bit. First, let me get this. Alright, so... There's this area, right? Now, in 2.0, this area used to be a second exit to the level. There was one above and one below here. This is no longer an exit, but this is only breakable by Knuckles. There is an emblem in there, so that emblem is only accessible by Knuckles. And so are a couple other secrets here. The water level rises when that area is broken, and so... There's a secret in here, there's like a ring box in here, and there's a bunch of rings all around that only Knuckles can get. So, in essence, only Knuckles can actually max this level if you want to go for a perfect bonus. So have fun. Or something. I don't know. That's just a fun little tidbit. Anyway, I'm about to go into Special Stage 6, the first actually different, if difficult, special stage of the game. The first five were cake. This one is a little difficult, not very much, but you do need to be cautious of the lava everywhere because if you hit something like that, you lose five seconds, and your speed goes all the way down to zero as well. So you'll lose quite a bit of time if you get hit by something. So the important thing is not to get hit. If you want all those spheres in this room, getting a super power loop item is practically the only way to do that. Unless you want to spend a lot of time trying to get spheres some other way, which is not something I'd recommend. You get an additional bonus for hitting the idiot capture in relation to how much time you've taken in the level already. So each second that you take in the level, 100 points goes off this bonus. So keep that in mind if you're trying to A rank this. Getting the idiot capture quickly is not only important, it's actually really recommended. I got another emblem for time, because that was fast enough. I now have six continues. So anyway, Deep Sea Zone 2. Extra life right away. Zone 2 has a lot of secrets. Zone 2 also has four emerald tokens. So, you have a lot of options. You can go that way, you can go this way. There's one more area. I'll be going the main path because I can still get two emerald tokens this way. I don't really need them, but if by any chance I fail special stage 7, I can get myself immediate redemption because I won't be failing it twice. Because um, contrary to popular belief, special stage 7 is actually not hard. It's the most challenging level of, all, of them all, sure. But it's not the most difficult one. Well, 
Well, it's the most difficult one of the seven, but there are other stages that are unlockable instead of more difficult. Well, one in particular. The other one's not difficult. I guess what I'm trying to say is, Special Stage 7 is challenging, but it's not truly difficult. But then again, in general, if you want to just get the Emerald, you don't really need to do a hell of a lot. In relation to getting an A, getting an A is a lot harder. There was an extra life that I missed, unfortunately. Rip extra life, you'll be missed. Anyway, we water slides. I like water slides, don't you? There's some stuff down here. I almost died. One thing I should mention, besides the camera fuck up, that's not good. Um. <laughs> okay, one thing I should mention is that, um, if you have invincibility, you can get to save a shield like that by simply, you know, just hitting the invincibility and then going in the water and then coming out quickly, you know? Because invincibility essentially covers the shield. So if you wanted to take that magnetic shield to the next, to the next part, you can do that with that invincibility that I just hit and use. There was a spring on the side of the water slide, so I didn't actually have to use the water slide, I just did because it was easier for me. And I don't actually need the magnetic shield anyway, the attraction shield, whatever you want to call it. I'll probably call it the magnetic shield because it's just easier for me to do that. Anyway, there's a path in here that's intended for Knuckles. There's a path in here, in this area, if you get one of these gargoyles to open up the, the thing. I believe that's how it worked. I guess I'll just simply demonstrate. Oops. Or at least I thought that was how it worked. I could be wrong. I know it had something to do with the gargoyles. I just don't remember what exactly. Oh, that worked. Okay. So in here, um, you get past this one area with some gargoyles, you get an emblem. I'm not going to be demonstrating that, but it's good to know if you're hunting for emblems. This place right here used to have bottomless pits. Not anymore. I'll just get air. I missed. Wow. It's okay. I'll show you a much easier way to get through that anyway. An easier way to get through this would just be to spin dash and just get across like that. No problem. So this crusher section, it's the crushers actually move slower than they did in 2.0. Um also in this sector right here, you can fly up and there's a very nice secret. There are four ring boxes and a life up here. You can fly up as tails or climb up as knuckles and get that. Sonic can't do that, so... Rip Sonic. Anyway, to get the other Emerald token, you have to go this way. Go right at that split. It's not actually in here, I just wanted to get this. Wow! Well, rip other emerald token. It was in that area. Like, you had to go in and you get that emerald token. But that's okay, I don't need it. 
I only wanted to demonstrate it. But, it was in that area. Anyway, Egg Satellite, the most fun level. Also the most challenging. All of a sudden, you need 120 spheres. You, spheres weren't really a... Uh, much of an issue up until right now. So, that's one of the sudden changes of this level in particular. You can super power loop around this room. I actually got it, partially. I almost really had it though, but oh well. You can also do some smaller power loops just to get some of the stuff in there if you miss it. I practically had the setup, I just didn't find the right line. There's also an extra time item in this level. It's right here. Oh, I thought I was going to make that. Oh well. I'm going through this a lot slower than I usually would, but... So if you want to get an A on this level, that's all you really have to do. You don't really need a second lap, but you need to get a lot of crap along the way in order to get that A. I figured I'd demonstrate it because I practically already had that in the bag. Because why not? Anyway, worst boss in the game, I can tell you why. This boss got some changes. Not good ones. But it starts off kind of the same. Also, you can stand here and hit him like that, just for fun. You can also see where he's going, no big deal, right? It seems harmless, why would I call this the worst boss in the game? It seems so harmless. It seems so easy too, right? Five hits in. It's because of this. Fake Eggman appear. Which one's the real one? Most people don't know. Sometimes I don't know either. Some tips to find the, the real guy. The real guy makes a sound effect. The real guy actually tries to hit you. The real guy will shoot right away if he's the first one to come up. The other ones won't shoot until the real Eggman has come up. The fake ones actually look fake if you look at them close enough, but that's not really helpful. But yeah, that's the deep sea boss. Anyway... In the next part, we'll go through Castle Eggman. Stay tuned!